What's up, this is Steel Knight, along with... Hello. And... Rotator. Alright, so we're on to Chapter 12, Fire Emblem 3, Blind Iron Man. After what looked like to be a simple map, we totally goofed up on last time. And by totally goofed up on, I mean we lost our healer, Elena. But now we go to Magical Kedane. And hopefully we don't get another string of like three or four maps in a row with Fiona dying. Because that would suck again. And I'll have to keep updating the death counter. Cadane, Lad of Magic. It is ruled by the Demon King Garneth and is a sanctuary for mages. As soon as the mages began chanting, no warrior can defend themselves. One and another one, and another one bites the dust. Brave warriors come to fall one by one. Cadane, a cursed town of darkness. You scary. What, what's this? A desert? I was expecting some kind of scary swamp or haunted forest, but no, it's a desert. Well, remember, deserts are scary in Fire Emblem. Yes, they're scary because the movement range. That just means they take a long time. Like, remember deserts in Gaiden? Not very scary, although those were a lot no, brighter. No, you know what anyway. makes this even more terrifying than normal? What? You play very slowly, and it's gonna take even longer to get through this map oh boy. than usual. Oh, look, it's an oasis, and it's a dragon knight, and is there a boss here? The Bulganon? Well, he doesn't have a portrait. What a unique name. Yeah. Uh, this is interesting. This is a first time seeing a bishop with magic that's not a boss. And you can look around. Mages with a pitiful seven attack. Recover. Ooh, a bishop with offensive and healing magic. They're very high resistance too, but they're kind of slowish. See. Okay, there's a couple of shops and an armory, but. Javelin, it's gonna be annoying. Excellent. Pegasus. Excellent. Ooh, the few shops are recover, which Don't. is. Oh, That's... we have a couple of chests here. Ah. Oh, ah, oh, and here we are. are. The Falcon. That attack. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So this means we're gonna have to go and get the option yeah. from him. Yeah, yeah no, there's also two chests, which I guess the thieves, which are up there, and... Let me check this out. There's only are one there any? It doesn't look like it right now, but maybe in reinforcement. Are there any recruitable characters? I no, there are see not. It. There are no recruitable characters in this chapter. Yeah, there's also, I guess, I'm guessing we start here in this block of plain land that has absolutely nothing. So. Alright, let's check this out. Okay, so what is the goal of this map to defeat Garneth and get the Falcon? And what is even yeah. math supposed to be? Is that math? Let's check this I out. I think it's supposed to be Mephistles? It's math, as in mathematics. Because look at that. No, no it, lo awesome. it looks evil, and we all know that math is the real life version of black magic, so it's math. Well, then, I am apparently using black magic for good. So, is like, so I don't, I don't get it. Do we just, like, maybe the story will tell us what we need to do. Because, like, mm -hmm. there's this castle I'm guessing we need to get to, but Garnev. Okay. This is a bit strange. The wiki talks huh. The wiki about... calls it as Imhulu? Imhulu? It's math. Well, anyway, well, whatever it is. 24 attacks, so it could actually one-shot a lot of our characters, but his... his speed isn't that high. I mean, again, Navar of the Killing Edge. How much... Um... Yeah, Navar. N Navar is 26 health, so I guess that'll work. Let's go. Oh, 
<laughs> it seems those fools have come running here after all. They understand. As long as I have my math spell, I am invincible. White Sage, even you will be unable to stop me. As long as the Dragon Goddess remains the ancient Raman temple, no star's light can illuminate my dark. Okay, there we go. He tells us he's invincible. We didn't mean to look that up. And well, it was good to know, yes. Julia is probably yeah, not it, skilled enough to pickpocket. It, it's better than the way that it worked in uh, Gaiden, where Gaiden, it, uh, it doesn't tell us anything. Where, where, well, well, actually, it technically, us, um, well, I think they technically do, but it's like a random NPC that says this, and it's like just out of the way. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about the Medusa stuff. Actually, that... yeah, I don't, I don't think it was mentioned. It was this. mentioned in Echoes, which is why we knew what it did, but... Yeah, God, I did not explain that. Okay, but first of all, we have these mages to pick off. Um, six attack, uh, I guess... Navar can take care of him e easily, and then the other one, somebody else will... Sure, let's start with that. Wait, what's her defense? Two, yeah. Oh yeah, and I should also wish we brought along Lynn since we're gonna be facing lots of magic enemies, and I guess she has resistance. <laughs> what was that sound? That's some furious typing. Wasn't even typing. Then what was that? That was me fidgeting with the top of my laptop, that little like, oh, that, yes. thing that, you... that thing that you fidget with. Well, well, that's not what its intended purpose is, but okay. Yeah, I mean, I know all, I know all about fidgeting with things, whether it be bells or scissors or ball caps. Okay, easy now, second dude. Who do we want to get some experience? Uh... Hmm. I guess Medea. Sure. Yeah, and great desert tiles. We have figure out just how much they affect movement, because Desert Tiles, not Desert Tiles, but Terrain and Wind Ranges have been giving me some difficulty in general. You know, we have two character deaths because of that, because I didn't know how Hunters and Mountains work, I didn't know how Snipers and Water works, well... Wow, one damage. Wait, wait. Well... Well, we used the Steel Lance. Okay, that means somebody else will get the kill. Julian, <laughs> level up Julian, or would that be a waste? Probably. The two characters that we know are going to be part of this group, or at least hope will be part of this group for a while. Huh? I'm saying that we should give it to people who matter, essentially. I don't think Julian should. Yeah. Okay, we'll sort through out here. I guess we'll... is our <laughs> Yeah. So I guess we want to start moving units. By units, I mean flyers to the right. We're gonna want to take out these mage guys. Which mage guys? The one over here to the right, since we do want to intercept that thief when he starts walking back. Yeah. We don't want this guy to interfere. Yeah. So. Going to move our flyers along then. It would be nice if we could adjust their positions when the game starts so that they're not at the left side and at the right side. I'm not sure we can do that. I guess Minerva can go. She can at least. She has no resistance, but she can double the mages at least. Marf? Sure. Actually, how are we gonna move? Just gonna start to the left and towards this place, I guess. Mm 
Well, I guess there's two paths. But yeah, we'll just start going through the left side. And... Or at least the people we know aren't going to be there for the intercepting of the thief. Yeah, so basically the non-flyers. Yeah, so when you start to be able to promote units, because, you know, we have some units that are, like, over level 10 can be promoted. So I feel like we want to promote basically Navar, mm -hmm. or Hero Crest, I mean, it's Ogma died anyway, so we can't really, that's kind of our only use of it too. For Night Crest, that's either Kane or, Do or Doga, Draug, Doga, I think it should be Doga, just so that he becomes super tanky. And maybe we could get some Lin some levels in this level too. Oh, well. Huh. What the? Well, oh. Okay. Apparently he's going to follow us, I guess. Okay, that complicates things. So do we run away or like. Well, yeah. Don't think we want to be anywhere near him. Wow, but I didn't expect the enemies to move towards well, us. Well, let's still really. keep the, um... Let, let's still keep oh, the... Oh boy, everyone's coming here. towards us. This is not good. It's a bit weird. Even Garnet? Yes, yeah. he moved. Oh boy. It's a moving boss. Well, he's not really boss. the boss. Well, he's a moving... Right, the boss is probably that one guy on the castle. Boss that we can't destroy? Well, this is something. No problem. Well, let's check Garnet's range. Yeah, stay out of Garnet's range. <laughs> yeah, it's especially a bit of a problem because like, he does 24 damage. Well, that's enough to one-shot Lind. Also, this is going to be kind of difficult we, I guess because we kinda... of the fact yeah. that he isn't deterred by the sand. No. So, well, so what you said he disappears at turn six? Well, mm -hmm. turn two he goes here, I guess, or here. After that he goes here. So the problem here is that, like, like Maria and Lind have such low resistance and health that he's going to one-shot them and can't do anything about it. Well, we have to get them out of there ASAP. Here's the thing, if we go like this, then is that going to be enough to actually get them out of there? I don't know. Because, like, if she can go this far, so the next turn he'll go here. So then if she can go from here, the one, two, three, four, five, which from here, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. So, who's our highest resistance unit? Status. So, okay, so the objective is seize castle. That's not what I meant. Unit. Is there? Can we actually sort? I don't think so. Um, turns out it's Medea. Medea, Paula, and Catria. It says here. Catuar, Linda. So, okay, if we can... We, we have the barrier stuff, right? Ooh, that's a good idea, yeah. So yeah, we, we can do. use that. Wait, what, what's his attack? It's 24, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, Katria, Paula... Yeah, they can survive, like, one hit from him. Even with the barrier, they can't survive two, though. <laughs> Unless they can dodge his attacks. Yeah, but, like, you know, that's not something we can count on. Well, here's the thing. 74 can, accuracy, so there's a chance, but like, I'll We be... can hold him off for now, maybe. Because he's gonna get to our units anyways. And we can just switch them up, like, every turn. I see, so like, have... Healed. So basically have someone, like, bait in his range, take a hit, then have him run away mm -hmm. and get healed? Yes. It's a good idea, it's a good idea. And that should probably be our Pegasus Knights because they have high movement range and high resistance. And 
he has attack. The problem is they're low HP. Twenty-four. Yeah, but that does doesn't really matter because everyone can pretty much only t take one hit from Gardef and live. So that their low health is kind of like well, everybody's going to be at like one or two health after being attacked by Gardef anyway. Which is kind of a problem because there is a um, there's enemies coming our way. Yeah, what if we can take care of this dude? Because, like, the problem is that is Garnus range up to here, or does it go up to here? It goes up to right after the mage, I think. After? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six is here, but, like, does his bush cut one tile off that? I don't know. But what if we I could mean, like, what if we could kill well, the mage while wait, being what's, what was his range in terms of because it's, it's he's using magic right yeah yeah but I'll be terms so, of his movement like can he step on that mm -hmm. tile where the mage is or is that tile cut off I think it's yeah he can't move there because of the bush because like if we could kill this mage by say putting someone over here and they kill the mage right the problem is look up there is there is this guy over here. Oh, it's going geez, to get jam one too. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem, huh? So, okay, so we could just have everyone outside of. So basically, have somebody. Okay, so. Okay, all right, so. We take care here's of an idea. Here's an idea. We can bait this guy over here, the, yes. the Wyvern Rider, in the sand area so they can get out of the way. And then we can kill them on the turn that Garnif moves over here, because Garnif's not going to move any farther than the bridge, but we want to cut off the bridge. These guys are all going to move within that turn, right? Yeah. So yeah, we have enough time in this next turn Okay. just to bait these enemies. Yeah, so we have somebody who can counterattack the mage, and hopefully kill them on a counter, which, like, the mage only does 10 damage, that's... 10 damage at 3 speed, pretty much everyone's gonna double them. And... Okay. So, what about here, though? See, the problem is that up here there's lots of enemies. I do wonder, would it be a better idea to actually retreat and have everyone like hide out over here? You could do that, but we're still gonna have to figure out a way to, to hold back these enemies. Yeah, because but also, like I said, tricky. we're gonna still need to keep Minerva over there so that the the thief, the thief doesn't get away. Yeah. Yeah. So um. Still, I think it would be best to bait out this mage yes. right now, just so we can take him out on this turn. Yeah, definitely. So, we just do because like, if we advance, well, we have all these mages moving towards us anyway. And they're gonna get here within six turns. Yeah. So basically, what we want to do is cut off this area right here. So at the bottom. At the bottom, do you mean this side or this yes. side? Yes. No, down. This one right here, yeah. So retreat everyone back here. Yes, except for Minerva. Okay. It's going over there toward where um. Where the thief is. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Cause like, if we advance here, then we're like gonna be swarmed by enemies over here, and we have to keep running from Garnef. So basically, we don't move up, we move back. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, all right. So who do we want to bait the mage on? So another mage. Well, actually, I want somebody who would counter kill the mage. So, well, who has enough resistance that can attack? Well, the mage only has 10 attacks, so that's like... He's not gonna kill anyone. Alright, so for, let's actually do this. So we're gonna back everyone out, we're gonna put somebody for Dragon Slayer here, so they counter-kill this mm -hmm. Dragonite. And we put Medea here, so she will take out this mage. Right. Sound mm -hmm. good? Yep. And I guess... Sounds good. Okay. And otherwise, we're just kind of back it up. So good. 
The Dragon Slayer, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and we trade to Astria. Wait a minute. Does the Dragon Killer work only on Drag? Are Wyverns considered dragons in this game? In later Fire Emblem games, yes. I don't know. You want me to look it up? I guess we could try. Mm -hmm. So I guess we could put him over here in case he does need to, like. Julian's got a backup. What's his defense? A 14, that's crazy! Yeah, I'm just gonna put the dragon killer and hope that works. I always consider dragons. Actually, we don't even have to go that far. Because if he can move. Down here, you can actually move one lower. With the Iron Lance, yes, yes. So the wiki is saying bonus damage to dragon units. Okay, is do... Well, it's called the dra... Oh, yes, yes, it says dragon. Okay, yeah. I'm going okay. to assume it's a dragon. Well, well, then I was going to say, and then for later games, including ones that I know they're effective against white or nightmares, it only says effective against dragon units. So. <laughs> yeah, so I think we could safely assume this is a dragon, so we go here. With the dragon killer. And back in case we need snipes and flyers. With Medea. To here. Okay, what about our flowers and Minerva? How do we move them? Again, Minerva needs to move at least close to the water. Over here, to the right. Ooh, wait. These are blocked tiles, so we can't actually fly around. Okay. Well, yeah, you can still fly around to the other side, so... Yeah. So, do we go around back, or...? Mm -hmm. That seems like a waste. How about just over here? Well, we don't know if he can attack her from there. So just over here? Just, yeah, keep, keep her out of his range. Yeah, he can't attack her. Can't Maybe the her. AI will change. Maybe he'll try going after her and we can bait him like that. So over here? Yeah, let's put him over here. Let Paula to Catria. Let's kind of keep him like, over here, maybe. Or maybe. Do, we, do we advance them forward so they can maybe deal with some of the incoming flyers? Well, no, because Garnip's gonna be coming this way anyways. Yeah. So keep them back here. Just to protect everyone. Okay. This is trickier than I expected. I guess I'll move. Okay. So, what, maybe he's gonna keep spawning here? That might be annoying. I don't know. Jeez, they move a lot. What if I place Minerva there? But nah, it's not gonna work. Okay, let's hope she can actually kill on a counter. Nice dodge. Oh my goodness, I forgot to equip Javelin. <sighs> Whoops. It's not actually a big deal, but...
he doesn't attack. Wow. Well, that doesn't help. Well, this went a lot worse than I expected. Like, I expected that guy to attack, because, like, why would he not attack? Maybe because he doesn't want to attack because of the dragon killer? Possibly. Wow. Well. Ooh, just out of rage there. What about Gardef? It says his movement rate is 6, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, that actually checks out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we could still have take out this mage from range. And then have enough room to retreat afterwards. Mm -hmm. What about over here? Okay, but then that'll be in Garnet's range, because... Actually, we range. could technically beat Garnet. Um, no, wait. It's this guy's over here. Yeah. Now, if we had that warp staff, we could probably warp more if you could winter this guy. Rage heal if needed, and we could probably seize cheese this, honestly. If we still had a warp staff, but... Like, you know, that'd be like an emergency backup, but we no longer have that option. We won't be having that option until the next chapter. Yeah, and I actually kind of wish that if we had moved Polly and Katri over here, we could take up these mages, but... The thing is that we need them over here for burning. Yeah, well, actually, they only do 6 and 7 damage. That's not much. It's... This guy does a this guy's ten. That's a bit more. Okay, so if we Unless you move them or one of them over here, just to bait them out and away from the group. Yeah, well we also need to take care of this guy. You know, we... Minerva's resistance isn't that good if I remember correctly. Yeah, but she has none, but these guys don't do a lot of damage. Only do 7 damage. However, would we actually... Oh no, this is the edge of the map. We can't move past here. So you're gonna have to move. Actually, wait. Does she have a javelin? Yes. Can she still attack? Okay, no, never mind. Yeah. What if we move... No, never mind. The mage can still hit here. Well, the mage is going to move out of the way this next turn. Yeah, bro, there's going to be a new mage showing up. This guy's 14 defense. Pat, Paula, and Katri are not going to be able to kill him. This is actually a conundrum. Okay, I think we should have... Yeah, ask you to take out this dude. I mean, he'll get hit by a mage, but that'll be like 10 damage. Yeah, if he if he if he one shots this guy with the dragon sir, he'll get hit by a mage for like one one time. I guess that's okay. And then he can go like escape this far in. <laughs> Well, we might have to heal him. This is turn two. The next turn is gone. If he's gonna be here, so we at range. He's gonna be here. Four, five. At that point, we're gonna have to start baiting him. These Pegasus knights aren't that durable, so. Okay, so how about we we have Medea take out this mage with the javelin anyway? Because mm -hmm. Gardaf can only move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so we can't hit Medea here. Medea will take out this guy with the javelin anyway. Astria will take out the Wyvern. And after this, well, unfortunately, our archers are just a little bit short of range. And actually, if we had promoted Kashim to be a hunter, alas, we did not. So there's not really a way to take this guy out. Unless. 
magic. No. So we gotta stay clear of this guy's range, I guess. Which is like huge. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. You can't attack him with close range or close range. We can. What? Well, wait, who's over here? Is this Navar? Yeah, but then this is the Garnet's range. Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. He has 14 attacks, so... We can't really kill him unless Minerva gets like a several lands crit and she'll need two of them, so... It's a problem. So you just back everyone off. Yeah, I mean, I... Is that actually a bad idea, though? But no, even the VAR doesn't do enough damage to this guy. Yeah, we're gonna have to back everyone off. Fortunately, he's not fast enough to like double almost anyone, so... Okay, so we kill here, kill here, what do we do with Paula and Kadri? What do we do with Minerva? Minerva still needs to be close over here, just in case. Is the thief's coming over. Yeah. What's this guy's range? None. Minerva might need to take a hit, but... Yeah. Yeah, she probably will. Yeah, the mage's range is overlap. Resistance zero, but these guys do... Seven. She could take three hits. And if necessary, she can just run out of there. Yeah, so like... What if we like put her here, equip her with the javelin... She'll take two hits, but she'll... counter-kill this mage and the one that spawns? And then we can distance What's healer? What's the range of the, the one next to Garnif? Yeah, we can't take out this mage without being in this one's range. Okay, that's fine. I just want to make sure that she's not in his range. No, she won't be. There's the Pegasus Knights who have 13 attack versus her 14 defense, that'll be fine. So yeah, what if we just have her stand here with the Javelin? Yeah, just do that. And even if she gets hit by two... Well, what's her luck? Six... Crit chance six, that works. Do we have the Physic? Yes. Reblow, yes. Okay, so we start off by attacking the hero of Medea, I guess. Mm -hmm. What's her health? Jeez, only 20. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was my mistake for not equipping her before, although that doesn't actually change much. Only 58 to hit, too. But... You can attack with an archer. Yeah. Yes, that archer, which will also be in this guy's range. Which I guess is fine. 18 attack, though. Jeez. I guess we'll put George there. Yeah, George can outrun him. So I guess we'll attack with George here then. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're still gonna have to find a way to deal with him too. But like, then if the Wyvern comes to attack George. Then George will be in range. That's not good. So this guy will attack with the Dragon Killer. Mm -hmm. Let's hope one shots. Oh wow, nice. Is that just me, or does it like have a special unique sprite? It's yellow. Skill and luck. Well. Okay, now what? Back everyone off. Excalibur? No, he's one shot shy of being one pal. So we back everyone else off.
mages aren't that scary. Because they actually have pretty low attack. Invincible mages on the other hand. He'll be gone in a couple turns. We just have to hold out till then. Yeah, if this guy ends up attacking Paolo or Catriac, I guess... Well, it's a turn two. Okay, what about... Dane, do we run away with him too? Yes. Who has good, has good defense? Run. Nobody has good defense. Jeez, maybe we should have left the Doga. I didn't expect the ball to move this aggressively. Yeah. Jeez, 10 movement, that's crazy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Yeah, this will be a slow bit. Wait, no, he has a javelin. But if he attacks Kashim, then... Yeah, it's not gonna matter. Ooh. What if I bait this guy to attack Marigold River? I don't think we really need that though, do we? This actually means that he can attack Kashim with the Javelin, which would be fine. But he's probably going to attack George in this case. We'll see. Fine if he attacks Kashim. Kashim will counter kill him. Okay, over here, Minerva. So she does have a Vulnery, so we put her over here. Mm -hmm. And at least she'll attack one. Oh, yeah, this is a floor, so she can't actually hide in there. Which I guess is okay. So she'll get attacked by this guy, but he should be counter kill. Out of range of this guy. Out of range of the ponies to do like no damage to her anyway. What about this guy? Oh no, she'll still be in range of this guy though. Who would only do five damage. So seven well, plus seven plus then five. Put her over there next over. to the water. Right there. Yeah. So I have to put her two tiles over to be out of the javelin. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that works. Make sure she's equipped. With the javelin, yes. She does have a vulnerary, so she'll take 14 damage, but she can heal 10. Oh, yeah, she has high speed, that's cool. So, over here. We've run away with our pony princesses. Mm hmm. So too. No, it doesn't make sense to equip the javelin because she's gonna like do the damage to wipe it anyway. They have such high defenses. Actually, it looks like he might hit. Catria as well. It's ridiculous they have 10 movement range, that's just insane. Yeah, Catria is also going to be in his range. Yikes. Oh well. Yeah, I, I really don't expect this map to go like this. I thought it would just be like basically slowly advancing through a desert and Garnet would stay there and do nothing. Well, that's well, all we can do. That's not Okay, so our meat is gonna keep spawning there. I guess they are. Jeez, that's scary. 
Yeah, well, I mean, I knew this would happen, but... Only, th only three damage, though. Well, at least those guys went on that side, so it could be coming across the bridge. Oh boy, actually, Astro might be in trouble. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've got trouble. Okay, so the Pegasus Snakes are going towards Minerva, that's fine. This should be okay. Okay, he missed anyway. This is fine, I was expecting this guy to attack George. There's the thief. Yeah, actually, Astro is in trouble. Unless we can give him, like, the magic shield. Nice. Critical hit. I guess that saves the use on Javelin. Skill and luck, what do you know? Yeah. Seven damage. Face palm. One damage short. Okay, so the question is, can Astria equip Escape Garnef? We should if we have someone to stand there. It looks like the answer is no. <laughs> Which is a bit of a problem. Unless we give him, like... Wait, how far can he move? Garnef. Well... No, right. I'm talking about Astria, because what we want is to put someone there right on the... The bridge. Who has high resistance. Yes. Yeah, but whoever we put on the bridge, I mean, you're gonna be taking a hit from this guy as well. well and this guy. Like I said, okay, where's the oh, barrier? Yes, the barrier where, staff the barrier has, thing? Wendell has Yeah, it. so they're gonna take like zero damage. If that's the case. So, our highest combined health plus resistance is Catria. Catria? Sorry, Paula. I think you mean Paula. Yes, Paula. Oh great, don't tell me to get them confused again. So if we give the them the magic barrier, then yeah, it will take like... Well, this guy actually has 10 attack, actually. But it's gonna be a plus 6, like over 12. Oh yeah, they're gonna take no damage from these guys. Mm -hmm. So that'll save us for one turn. Okay, yeah, so we'll do that. What about over here? 16 attack. 13 attack. 14 defense, so she'll take 0 and 2. So I guess we want to kill this mage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's safe from these mages, so she will kill this mage with the javelin, because another mage will spawn here. But it's important to stand here so the thief can't escape anymore. Ooh, we got a secret book. That's skill, I think. So we have Minerva stand here, attack this guy, she'll take no damage, she'll take two damage from this dude, no damage from this dude, and she'll take seven damage from another dude, so she'll be at eight health. After that, we need a Vulnery. Well, not just that, we have Reblo, so... Yeah. Okay, what about over here? So... And we also need to shoot this guy down. Now, having someone actually stand here across the river, so they attack the mage, and then they counter-attack the mage, and maybe counter-kill them, might actually be a good idea. Because that way we can control yes. what these mages do. So have another Peg Knight be there, or you can have you don't have javelins. someone... Yeah, yeah have but honestly, anyone. These guys have like 6-7 attack, it doesn't matter. So we need an archer to take care of this dude. Well, first, let's check to see who exactly has the barrier stuff. That's Wendell. Okay. How far can Garnet move? Well, let's see how far Garnet can move, because he has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over here, and here's his attack range. Yeah. So. Well, no, because... One, two, We're three, taking this into account. Well, six. He'll okay. be on the bridge. Yeah. 
So yeah, we'll... wait, we, we want to put somebody on the bridge, which is gonna be Paula, after being, or after putting the, the barrier magic on her. Okay, sure, that sounds good, yeah. So we could have, I guess we have George stand here and take on the mages, so Kashim should be able to shoot down the string what's, what's his, um, his resistance? Whose resistance? George. Where is he? Oh no no no! George is all the way over here. That's three. We that can... doesn't it, it, it doesn't matter because he only does like three and four. But oh, how far can he move? Yeah, he can move far away. Because Garnef's range. Unless you can put Medea over there over to where? take them on. Put the, put her in range of the mages. Okay, that yeah yeah that's an idea too. But remember last time she how she didn't double him. Well, still, we're gonna be manipulating them to come over here to attack. Yeah, them. yeah, that's fine. Okay. So let's check this one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he'll go, go onto the bridge. So we'll put Paula on the bridge, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do that. Is she at full health? Yes, she is. All right, Wendell. Staff, M shield. Oh, seven. I thought it was six. Paula. So she'll have 13 resistance. Mm -hmm. So she'll take 11 damage from Garneth and no damage from the rest of the mages. Yeah, that was really excellent thinking about the magic shield staff. It probably could have worked without it, but it really makes things a lot safer and a lot better. So that's a fantastic idea. So we move her on onto the bridge, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Move her there. Do we equip a javelin? She, she could kill someone. Yeah, she can kill but off. her javelin doesn't have much uses on it, so... Let's trade her javelin that's not gonna break in a moment. Speed, 13. What's his speed? 6. Well, how much does the javelin weigh? That's a good question. Javelin attack speed zero. Huh? Hmm. What if? Well, what's Garnus speed gonna look like? Well, we can. Is there a way to check his inventory? What's his six? Does anyone else here have a javelin? Does Minerva have a javelin? Oh yeah, so Minerva over here, let's just do this. So, yeah, we place her over here, attack this dude with a javelin, right? Mm -hmm. I guess we could distance heal her. And, oh. Yeah, it doesn't work. That is absolutely disastrous. So next turn, she will be attacked by two mages, who will do 14 damage to her. So we need to heal her. Oh mm -hmm. no, this is not good. Well, we have somebody who can heal her right now. Yeah, let's just move her over here. Yeah, I mean, she should be able to survive this. It's just... yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah... I did factor that into account. Javelin has a lower hit rate, but we need a javelin to counter the mage, and that's... fine. She'll take four, she'll take 16 damage. She'll probably need to use a vulnerary next turn. Actually, never mind. Because you see... It depends. It depends on what the enemy does. If like this mage moves here, then attacks her, and she counter kills it, then a second mage can attack her. But second mage attacks her first. Oh, then only it can attack her. But anyway, over here. So can Medea move that far? I guess she can. The thing is, we probably want Medea because of her. Well, no. Pa 
I mean... Catrick can do this too. Six resistance. Seven. Six. So I guess we can put Medea here. Mm-hmm. I forget to kill this guy right here. Yeah. Okay, so move Paul Astria has... back too before you forget. Yeah, so Paul has 13 resistance, so we move her here. So do we equip the Javelin or no? That is the question. Mm. No. Yeah, only towards no two. Because we don't want her to get Ogmud. Yeah. Okay, so just the Iron Lance. Mm -hmm. We wait. Get Astrid the heck out of here and first shoot him down. Astrid could with the Dragon Killer if he misses, but. Oh geez. Well. Well then! We have other people yeah. who can attack. I just mean, I didn't expect that to not kill him. No, do not put him there because there's mages. Where? Here? Good point. So we put Astro over oh, here. Yes, put him there. Yeah. So do you hear who can do a lot of damage, I guess? Okay, yeah, I guess what would Marv? How much this guy's 14 defense, what would Marv? With like the solar sword. 20 versus... Okay, and what's his health? Yeah, six. six. Yeah, that yeah, should be enough. Jeez, these guys, they can even survive a bow shot. Kashima has a really high attack too. He's actually our highest attack character now. He's even beaten bars to announce that. Good experience. I guess Julian can just do whatever. Move George out of there. Yes. Let's get George out of here. I guess she can stay here. What's her resistance? Four. Four. We can put him, put Merrick over here. Only one of the mages can then reach him. Yeah, that's fine. Okay then. Okay, that's everyone. Jeez, these turns take forever, but yeah, you know, we really gotta plan things out so nobody dies. What? Mars, I'm afraid we don't have time to continue playing games. If you want to recover the fellowship, then come to see me. Okay, oh. what? Well, yes. see, here we were panicking about Gardef killing us and all that, and turns out he just kind of runs away. Said turn 6, maybe he warps out on turn 6 or when he gets within range of your units. Because hmm. that was three turns, but he was finally within range to attack us. There's our first desert combat. But was... also, he warped away when the way that the blue red kind of made me think that he would just, like, start walking to the, away from- off of the map. Oh, come on. If we knew he was gonna warp. At least I've played enough well to know that he's gonna warp away. Me, evil mages warping away, that's definitely a thing. Fair enough. But I just, like, I thought that's six turns, but no, it turns out he doesn't even attack you. Unless maybe it was- Oh six boy, turns. they're going after Minerva. Including, like, this would be a... that you mowed in, uh, Faye, it counts phases instead of turns. 
Maybe that's oh, what that, it means. that could be like that. Yeah, Ooh, that crit. Okay, well, I guess that, that helps, because that's the one good. I guess. See, this that now we have a bit of a problem over here. Minerva. So I guess we well, gotta send Paula and Katria to see if we could bail the situation out. Although she does have a Volderi. And this is good, the full the full health mage is attacking her. So now we gotta move our heads a little bit over here.